Good morning. Thank you for joining with me once again. My name is Karen. We have been looking in the book of 1 John, and we're finally going to finish up chapter 3. We're going to read in verse 19 to the end, and it talks about having confidence before God. How many of us have gone to our parents and wanted something, but we knew that we did something not right, and we're a little bit afraid, and so we kind of back off a little bit and say, mm, I'm going to smooth things over and everything like that here. But we can have a confidence that God, He will accept us when we confess our sins and go on from there. But in verse 19, it reads, By this we know that we are of the truth and shall reassure our hearts before Him. For if our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knows everything. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, then we have confidence before God. And whatever we ask, we will receive from him because we keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he commanded us. Now the one who keeps his commandments remains in him, and he in him. And by this we know that he remains in us through the Spirit whom he has given us. There are many times we feel mm, like, oh, I've done wrong, and I didn't make things right. So we confess it to the Lord, and we say, God, I messed up here. Please forgive me. And if we think that he doesn't know what is in our hearts, in our thoughts, the motive of our hearts, any of those things here, then we are fooling ourselves here. God is smarter than our parents, you know. So here it says that when you feel that tug of, mm, repent, do it, do it quickly. And then because there is no condemnation to those that are in Christ and we've confessed it to him, then we can come boldly to him and say, God, I need this. And he is faithful and just to forgive us of every sin. And whatever we ask, we will receive from him because we're keeping his commandments. And we're doing the things that are pleasing in his sight. And what is that commandment? That we believe on his son, Jesus Christ. And that he, we love our brothers. There's that love factor again here. We're doing unto others as we would have them do to us. Now, the one who keeps his commandments remains in him and he is in us. And this, we know that he remains in us through the spirit whom he has given us. He confirms in our hearts, yes, I've forgiven you. You're mine. I love you. And that's a confidence that we have as believers. So keep on pressing on, keep on loving, keep on confessing, whatever it is, and know that God is greater than your heart than your thoughts. And even if you've confessed in those nagging thoughts, those darts of the enemy, trying to bombard our minds saying, ah, he hasn't forgiven you. Look at you. You messed up again here. God says, no, I forgive you. Go on. Let's move on to the next thing. So that is the word for the day. I pray that it will bless you and I will see you again next Friday. God bless you.